It's day 55 out of 95. We have 40 to go. We just crossed the border into China. We're in China. It's been uh, an adventure so far. Yesterday we spent about 40 miles going through the coal plants. So the air was just really thick and uh, polluted. But it was beautiful because we were in the mountains. Today we're on the other side of Beijing. It's uh, gotten a lot more hectic. It's a lot more fun because there's more people. We think it might have been the toughest 24 hours that we've had so far on the run. <laughs> We're driving into Beijing and our driver accidentally went in the truck way station lane. So we basically were in standstill traffic with a bunch of truck drivers who were sleeping uh, for most of the night. Drove five hours, got lost, Beijing traffic, out to the wall, we started to run 45 minutes late and hammered to get here, um, really battling tons of pollution the whole way. The air, it's really thick and smoggy and I didn't see the sun at all since I got to China. It's a tough road, there's a lot of traffic, there's a lot of road to car traffic and foot traffic. So. Uh, um, air quality is better than yesterday, but still not great. Probably from a lack of safe drinking water or safe water that the food was cooked in, our entire village is suffering. Um, pretty unhappy stomachs. A little bit of the usual other traveler results as a result. And it lasted about two to three days for each person. Uh, nobody was immune. I suffered it myself. Something. Uh you know, hit me right after we got into China. Yesterday was my worst day. I had a bad stomach ache. I went to the bathroom seven times. Today, last time, but not that good yet. I think everyone at the moment has hit the wall. Um, actually, I think it's an accumulation factor, really, particularly that um, three weeks we spent in, in Russia. Um, I think you know, starting to catch up with everyone. Oh, that was one of the hardest runs, for sure, with the stomach sickness last night. And then also with running 23 miles yesterday and 20 miles the day before. Mostly from the stomach, just lack of sleep. I notice if I only get uh, two or three hours, it really impacts my recovery and just energy levels. On the road in China, people have been, uh, been pretty sick. But beyond our running, We've had an opportunity to sort of get a glimpse into, into China and into Chinese culture. Um, and it's a beautiful place, um, a lot of historical cultural sites. And it's also a very interesting place in terms of its development. And it, it's also a country where the water issue is very, very real. Uh, statistics show us that one third of the population lacks access to safe drinking water. Personally, as, as we've run through the rural areas of China, um, we've seen that firsthand. Um, and I think for, for me and for the rest of the runners, it's made the cause that, for which we're running very, very real and very important. It's day 58 of the Blue Planet Run. Uh, Laura and I have just finished the final leg in China. We made it to the Yellow Sea. Uh, we traveled from Shannon, Ireland to here in China, the Yellow Sea. I, I can't wrap my, my mind around it. It's just, it's such a tremendous distance and I can't believe we covered it on foot. Yes, I think it's going to be unbelievable when we open the map and we are going to see what we did and you are not going to believe that. Absolutely. It's a lot. And so it, we are very happy to be here. And we did well, like a little sickness, but everybody's here in one piece. So great. Since what is life, we have to pass it on. <laughs>